What's up Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard and for today I'm going to show you guys how to export and upload GIFs. Fairly simple, straight to the point, so we'll get into it really quickly. But before I want to give some shout outs to Blake Simpson, Fuad, and Pranit. Really appreciate the love guys. Thanks for commenting on the videos and letting us know what is good. With that being said, if you're new to Video for it, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified when we put out a new tutorial every single week. Got a lot of movie magic stuff. Um, on this one, I'm keeping it simple on GIFs. Many of you guys want to upload stuff on Facebook. This is a quick way to create a little simple animation and you can do this with really any type of video that you have created, even those visual effects that we've been doing up on this channel. So you can create GIFs with that kind of stuff and we'll have some fun with it. So it's a fast one. I'll try to keep it simple and quick, straight to the point, all in Photoshop. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is open up your Photoshop application and then what we're going to do is drag in that video that you created. So I'm gonna use this video that I made a while back of the endless staircase. Now GIFs are or GIFs are best when they are looping. So this is a video that when played from the beginning to the end looks like it's looping if it kept playing and playing and, and playing. Um, personal preference I think GIFs are best when they're looping so I'm gonna go with this one and so once you're finished with your video and you've exported it out of After Effects or Premiere Pro, let's open up uh, Adobe Photoshop and then all you have to do is drag that video into Photoshop into a new tab over here, okay? And then once you do that, you'll see this little timeline pop up, okay? And you can kind of see that we have our video all right here. And what we're going to do, since this is an HD clip, um, 1080 by 1350, what we want to do is reduce that image size. So go to image and go to image size. And then let's turn that down. So I'm going to go to the height and type in maybe 500 pixels. Um, and then just make sure that this is locked on. So that way it'll give you the right width dimension as well. Um, 500 pixels is still even a little bit big. Maybe I'll go with like 400 pixels because remember GIFs are small. You post them in comments and that kind of stuff. So that should be fine. Press OK. And it will convert to a smart object, with, which is what we're looking for. So convert that. And cool. Now we've got our clip. We can zoom in here and check it out. And now we can go to File, Export, Save for Web. And then what you guys are going to want to do is... Um, like I said before, make sure that this is on GIF and not on JPEG, which it'll probably be on. So boom, GIF. Your colors, that's another thing to check out. Um, you can really reduce the colors here and that will reduce the size of the GIF. Okay, so right now it's 10.5 megabytes in size. Um, reducing this will also reduce the uh, megabytes and how big that this GIF file is. Remember, you don't need a GIF file that's massive, so uh, the smaller the better, but also remember when you reduce these colors, you're going to start to get these little pixelated effects um, or a pixelated look, and um, the dither is supposed to help with that, so that's why I keep that at 100, and I'll just show you by dropping it down what it does is you'll start to sh see the shading. Okay, so you probably want that at 100. I think 128 colors is good enough. And everything else looks good. This is the size of my image because we did um, resize it down. And boom. Oh, last one. Looping options. Make sure this is on forever. If you want your GIF to loop and loop and loop and loop, that's what you want it not forever, not once. Because self-explanatory, once is well not looping okay so um, hit save and then you're going to save it wherever you want so stairs effect with Sam and I will call it 007 for no particular reason and then save it Whoop. 
and that will save your GIF. Now the next thing you want to do is now upload it to the internet so you can post it on Facebook or what have you. So when you open up Google and type in Giphy, this is a place that I like to upload my GIFs to and um, just click on that first one, Giphy.com and then you'll go to upload and then you will drag your file the one we just exported right onto here so that's over here off screen I'll drag it right on here and they have this cool little animation <laughs> there we go and then you can start to name it so stairs effect and these are tags right um, video fort visual effect whatever you really want and then um, enter a source URL which we don't have so I will upload this GIF and then boom guys now you've got an uploaded GIF onto Giphy.com and it'll take a while until it starts to play so give it a second and there you go now you can see it play out and it should keep looping and looping and we'll see that right about here boom cool so it keeps looping exactly what we want now you can copy the link and then post it on Facebook or whatever social media platform you, you are using and that is how you create a GIF, export a GIF, and upload it to the internet. Alright guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out, and if it did, leave us a like, let us know in the comment section if there's any type of visual effects you guys would like to know more about. With that being said, this is Video Ford, I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.